Personality refers to a person's pattern of thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that make an individual unique. There are many types of personalities that we experience in our day-to-day -day lives which includes strong, charismatic, open mind, shy, and many more traits. Carl Jung's opinion on personality is completely insightful. He wrote that what seems to be random behavior is actually the outcome of differences in the way people prefer to use their mental abilities. Jung's theory on personality types shows the different behavioral habits and attitude. Using the theory, you can delve deeper into your own mind and understand your thoughts and feelings. According to Carl Jung, there are two mutually exclusive attitudes. First one is extroversion and the second one is introversion. He said, each person seems to be energized more by either the external world or the internal world. The introvert is more happy with the inner world of thoughts and feelings, so they will see the world in terms of how it influences them, while the extrovert feels more at home with the world of subjects and other people, and is more worried with their influence upon the world. Introverts are more happy while living alone and being by themselves. They rely on their me time to recharge. They become fascinated in their inner world and run the risk of losing touch with their surroundings or their outside world. Extroverts, on the other hand, are actively involved in the world of people and things. They are socially active and more conscious of what is going on around them. They like to be part of groups, communities, and potential places where they get an opportunity to interact. The idea of being lonely terrifies them, leaving them distance from their inner selves. Jung noticed that none of us are totally extroverted or introverted, but we really connect to one of the other attitude. In all of us lies a lifeless mind one which is not conscious of feelings and thoughts all the time, but those feelings and thoughts are prepared to affect our lives. Now, if the extroverts develop to know how and when to get their unconscious introversions into compositions, and similarly, when introverts know when to get their unconscious extroversions into compositions, they would have power over their mental space and not vice versa. For instance, extroverts depend on their external environmental all the time, but in life we all face circumstances where the solutions to our issues lies within us. In these situations, the extroverts learn to introspect. They would save themselves from a lot of anxiety and restlessness. Similarly, introverts depend on their thoughts and feelings too much. A lot of study has been done that reveals introverts are at a bigger risk of falling into depressions because of their special habit to isolate themselves in troubling times. However, if the introvert purposely works on activating the dormant extrovert quality and decides to speak with people about his or her problem, that might improve their situations. If nothing, one gets a unique perspective than the one making rounds in our head. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now, let's continue. One has to work on selecting the right attitude that fits in context to the problem. At times, introversions is more fitting and sometimes being extroverted is a useful way to deal with some situations. If a person develops a flexible strategy to deal with their personality, then they are not restricted by the limitations of being affiliated to their individual personality type. Going further on this line of Jung's theory, he said that we all think, feel, sense, and experience the world in various ways. He recognized four important psychological functions thinking, feeling, sensations, and intuitions. Each function may be encountered in an introverted or an extroverted fashion, and one of the functions is more prominent in each one of us. Some of us depend on thinking and feeling rather than sensing and intuiting. Realizing this psychology could be very fruitful to realize our world and people who influence our thoughts, feelings, senses, and our inner voice. As Jung saw, in each of us, one type is more powerful than the rest. Suppose A and B are told to predict danger in a situation. Here, A is a practical being and is ruled by a thinking attitude. He carefully analyzes the situations and discovers no probability of danger, which makes him take a logical decision to continue with the situation. B, on the contrary, is counseled by intuitions. He is having a strong intuition about positive occurrence of danger, and so he chooses to find other ways to go about the situation. The idea is to realize that in times when we are exposed to dynamic situations, it is great to have a state of mind that is dynamic in nature. At times, going by practical thinking is of more importance than catering to confused feelings, whereas at other times, believing in your intuitions is more valuable. You can use this knowledge to know yourself and your actions better. Don't be restricted to one specific state of mind or personality. Instead, use your free will and freedom to mold your personality. Don't be trapped in a dilemma as you are naturally free to be whatever you want to be, so use this freedom to your benefit. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out.